Hello, this is my version of a flowchart to separate salicylic acid from caffeine using acid base extraction. In previous videos, I explained that salicylic acid is acidic. And therefore, when you uh, deprotonate salicylic acid, right, it's negatively charged. So we have Sa minus. When you lose a proton, lose proton. Caffeine, though, is basic. It has uh, atoms that will grab a proton. And here I have caffeine. Uh, this is a basic, meaning that when it grabs a proton, it becomes more positive. We'll represent that with C plus. And what happens here is that it gained a proton. Gain proton. Looking at the uh, pictorial flow chart, we were, are given a solution of caffeine and salicylic acid. I would write SA here and C here. They are in the neutral form. We haven't added any acid or base yet. And in the first step in the procedure, you are extracting the uh, solution with aqueous base, NaOH, aqueous. That's basic. And so you are going to deprotonate the acid, Sa, and make it Sa minus. Whoa. Make it Sa minus. And you're leaving the caffeine alone because since it is basic, a base plus a base, no reaction. Now the issue is where are they in the layers? We have to know what our organic layer is and what our aqueous layer is. Obviously, our aqueous layer is the NaOH. Our acidic, sorry, our organic layer is dichloromethane. And dichloromethane and other chlorinated solvents are more dense than water, even if the water has stuff dissolved in it. Therefore, I'm gonna label the outside of the beaker or the separatory funnel the two layers, CH2, Cl2, this is the organic. And up here, we have the NaOH, and that is the aqueous. Try to understand the terminology, it will make the lab go a lot smoother. We have the organic layer on top, and the, sorry, we have the aqueous layer on top and the organic layer on the bottom. Where did our compounds go? Well. It's a salicylic acid that becomes charged, and that goes into the aqueous. Charged molecules are typically more soluble in aqueous solutions than organic. Look, we have the organic solution here, right? It's dichloromethane, and the SA now transferred, right, transferred into the aqueous, leaving behind the caffeine. Now, you're gonna do this twice. In the first extraction, you will separate for sure the organic and the aqueous. You're gonna pour back the organic and then re-extract with more aqueous. Ultimately, you'll have two beakers. Um, it looks like the bottom layer goes up here. So there's your caffeine, right? And just a reminder, the solution is in CH2Cl2. The aqueous layer is on the bottom, or not, the aqueous layer is on the top, but it's in the bottom beaker over here. NaOH, aqueous, remind yourself it's water-based. And now your SA is here, but it's negative, right? It's negative. I wanna isolate the neutral salicylic acid, so now we are in the realm of neutralizing and we, we got them separated. Isn't that great? We got the C and the SA separated. Now we just have to dry them, isolate them in the neutral form. Let's worry about this.
we're going to use um, acid, which is, I think we're using HCl aqueous. Making the solution acidic will protonate the SA back to its neutral form. In the best case scenario, and this is now aqueous acid, in the best case scenario, we get a precipitate and we just uh, filter it and hopefully we have SA uh, pure in the neutral form. That is what we want. Now, on the off chance that your SA salicylic acid is still soluble, let's extract it out. And so what's the idea here? That is not very soluble in aqueous solutions because it precipitated. It will go into the organic, and where's our organic on the bottom, right? Um, when we do an extraction with CH2Cl2. Um, let me use the correct color. It was pink. That. So this now bottom layer is still the CH2Cl2. Oh my goodness, my handwriting. Okay. CH2Cl2. Uh, the top layer, uh, you know, is the HCl. Now your salicylic acid is soluble in the organic. We have to dry it and filter it one more time and hopefully we get SA. Understand the point. You're not doing, you're not doing both, okay? We're hoping that we get a precipitate and we just do this and we forego this whole um, effort to get it into the organic layer. Okay, and don't forget about the caffeine. All the way on the right, we are going to dry with sodium sulfate, filter and evaporate, and we should have caffeine in a separate beaker. So take a look at what we hope to accomplish. You start out with a mixture. Okay, how are, how are you ever gonna separate those two, the green SA and the orange caffeine? Well, we did it here.